welcome back to my channel so during this video I am going to be sharing with you all a lot of makeup products that I purchased again over the last couple of months a lot of these products I purchased from TJ Maxx, Marshalls um, and then some of the items are Anastasia, a Menagerie that's it right? I guess I don't know, Juvia's Place, Profusion just name a few of the items. So we are going to go ahead and get started with this video. Um, let's start with the small pan. So I purchased a lot of makeup. Makeup, makeup, makeup in the last couple of months. And you'll probably see videos come here and there floating out as I post them sharing what I purchased. So this is the last of the makeup that I purchased in the last couple of months. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I purchased from the Anastasia's website the last two eyeshadow palettes that she released. And this one is the Rose Metals eyeshadow palette. I just love this color scheme. This is a nice good everyday eyeshadow palette. I love these bronzy type shades, metal type shades. I think they are super, super, super pretty. I just like them, like them, like them. And I particularly like that last shade. It's like a goldish, greenish. I can't explain it. It was a really, really pretty shade. The next palette I purchased um, from Anastasia is the Nuve, Nuve, is that right? Nuve eyeshadow palette. I like this color scheme as well. Now I don't know about why the lavender is in there, but we can figure it out. It just that's the first color you see when you look at the palette, the lavender. But the rest of the shades are super pretty. And this last shade kind of reminds you of the shade that's in. The rose metals palette, the greenish brownish kind of tone, but I do like the um, the colors. And I noticed in these palettes, the pans are much larger than the um, traditional packaging that uh, is in her other um, palettes. So I do appreciate the bigger pans, but I do like this color scheme as well. So let me know if you have these palettes if you like them, because she normally has some pretty good formula. I just had not used them yet, and I also picked up the um, cream bronzer. But I bought it in the shade Amber. I have not used any of this stuff. But I can't wait to use this bronzer. Bronzer. Yeah, this bronzer. Um, cream bronzer to contour with. Not did contour today, but I contoured with my black opal in the shade uh, Beautiful Bronze. But I can't wait to use this cream shade. The next item I have is the uh, Michaela. Glam Light Part 2. Pot 2. Pot 2. <laughs> it's the 10 color green eyeshadow palette. Now, I picked this up from my CVS down the road. I went in there about a month ago to pick up something else and I saw a whole display of Glam Light. This is the only item that was left. So I had to pick it up. These are some pretty, 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 pretty green eyeshadows. Now, Glam Light has some great formulas. Well, I have a couple other um, palettes. But I do like this green and the formula in her other palettes are pretty good. So I'm sure this one would not let me down either. So I purchased that from my, like I said, my local CVS. Now from Menagerie, I guess I'm saying that right. Did I say right? Menagerie? Yeah. Menagerie, I purchased three items. I purchased two eyeshadow palettes and one single eyeshadow. Now the one single eyeshadow I purchased is, it does not have the shade. On this box, but it's this uh, pretty green eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna actually stick this into one of my single pans because it's like it's kind of broken up on the side. Let's swatch it since I'm here doing this. Ooh, ooh, ooh pretty, pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I like that. But I purchased this one shadow and then I purchased two eyeshadow palettes. Now, the two eyeshadow palettes I purchased are the Sugar High, and this is beautiful, bright-toned eyeshadow palette. I like these. These are some pretty, pretty colors, and you can tell they're like super-duper pigmented. Let's see. Ooh. Now, it's purple in the pan, but it looks bluish-purple on your finger, and I barely touched it. That is so pretty. I can't wait to, to dig into these palettes. This is a nice, pretty, pretty, pretty palette in person. The camera does not give it any any type of justice. This is like really, really pretty. Really pretty. The next one is the 
Flight Club. And once again, your girl loves her purples and pinks and mauves. Nice purple. If you want a true, true purple eyeshadow palette, this is a true, true purple eyeshadow palette, in my opinion. The colors are so, so pretty. So pretty in person. Like I said, the camera does not give you any justice. This is really, really pretty. And the packaging is so sturdy and heavy. Like, really, really heavy. Um, the next thing I have in, and I'm kind of going all off. I'm not going in a particular direction. I'm just going to share what's in here. Um, I purchased two of the e.l.f. Power Grip Primers. Now I've heard so much about these primers. My cousin actually uses it and she loves it. I have yet to use it and I purchased it a while, while, while ago. Um, but I want to share it before I use it. But I'm definitely going to leave one of these on my vanity so I can use it. So I'm definitely super excited about this. Like I said, my cousin loves it. So I know I'm more than likely going to love it as well. Um, the next thing I purchased was the uh, Pigment Base by Profusion. Because I don't have any of their eyeshadow bases and I want to see how they work. So I picked up one of these. And then I also picked up two of their eyebrow pencils. And these are in the shade Soft Brown. This was of course before I dyed my hair. So we're going to see how that works. Because <laughs> um, I have not done like dark, you know, light, light brows um, since I dyed my hair. So that's the good thing about me dyeing my hair. Because sometimes my brows are too dark and I really don't like them. But now with my hair being black, I think I can probably go either way. But I am definitely want to um, try these brow pencils by Profusion and that base. Um, I picked up all of these Jaclyn Hill brushes from TJ Maxx. And they, uh, they were $3.99. Uh, this is just a little flat brush. Um, it's a brow bone highlighting brush. This is a little flat brush. And then I picked up the Universal Blending Brush. And that's the JH33 brush. Um, and this one is the Universal JH33. I picked up two of those. And then this is the JH45 Blending Brush. It's more of a defined type blending brush. A more denser type brush. And this one is the Mold Blender Brush. This one is the JH30. It's a more of a larger fluffy brush. So I picked all of these up from TJ Maxx for $3.99 each. Um, and then this brush set here came with came in with my um with my profusion order. And it's just a five-piece set brush. Now I do like this brush. I think this will be a just dropping stuff. This will be a perfect blush brush and a face setting powder brush. A nice little contour brush. Um this one maybe like a shadow brush and this one you can probably blend out cream products with it and hang on guys let me pick this brush up and this one is a flat blending brush and you can probably get away with applying like um shimmers and stuff to your lid or carbon out your brows with it so that is the five piece brush set now my favorite favorite all time setting spray is the Milani make it last so I purchased this one from Walmart because I love, love, love this spray. I've gone through plenty of bottles of this Milani spray. If you have not tried it, I think you should. This is a great, great setting spray. Um, for concealers, I picked up uh, five more of the Lorac Pros. I love my Lorac. LA Girl, not Lorac, I'm sorry. LA Girl, where I get Lorac from? I don't know. LA Girl Pro concealers. Um, and I bought... The shade Fun. I bought two, three Funs. Because you really can't find Fun like in a lot of stores. You have to always order it offline where, where I am anyway. So I went ahead and picked up three of them while they were there. Because it's always out. Like always, always out. And then I picked up um, the shade Natural and Pure Beige. Because I like to use these shades under my eye area to give it that highlight. And for my Elf Conceal, I love my Elf Concealers. The hydrating camos are like the bomb. If you have not tried the e.l.f. camo, they're affordable. Great formula, great coverage, easy to blend, easy to work with, and it does a great job on my face. So I picked up the shade, uh, what shade is this? Uh, light Ivory for my under eye area. I picked up Fair Rose, because I like to mix my product to get the perfect shade that I like. So and it works for me, so I really do like mixing a lot of my stuff and then medium sand 
So those are some items I picked up. So moving along to the rest of my stash that I picked up. I need to make some room. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to using a lot of the products that I purchased. Because I was like, have lost my freaking mind. Shopping, 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 shopping. But that's the way I treat myself. I believe if you work hard, you play hard. So when I work hard and I do what I'm supposed to do every month, I pay all my bills first. And I always say that. No debt whatsoever trying to buy makeup. I don't believe I'm going to buy it to get in debt. But I buy it once I've done everything I need to do and I have a little more than usual. I'm going to go buy me some makeup. So let's go on with this haul because <laughs> that was real. But I just want to be known that if you, you can afford it, buy it. You know, um, don't let it put you in a hole. It's a hobby for me. I just love it. But I'm not in a hole trying to do it, if that makes sense. So let's keep pushing. The next items I purchased, I purchased a lot of these from TJ Maxx. Besides maybe one or two products. Um, and Marshalls. Now, I picked up this um, lip, bra lip bar face product. It's a face palette, and it was $5.00. Now the lip bar can be on the expensive side as well. And I've seen it mainly in Walmart. I think I'm gonna see it in Target. Um, can I get this package out? But when I saw this, I had to get it for five dollars. I think it may be around 20 bucks if you buy it from the store, the Walmart or Target. Uh, and this one is what it looks like. This one is in the shade. I saw it on here. Hmm. Let's see. I think it was medium or something. I don't see it. Hmm. It said light to medium or something like that on here. That's why I bought it. Because I didn't want a deep, deep, deep one. Well. Hmm. Now, I, if I were looking for it, it would be looking right at me. Okay, but anyways. It's the medium. I think it's the medium. Um face palette and again that's what it looks like I think it may be a little bit too light for me when I'm talking about bronzing and stuff but I definitely can see myself using those two maybe as transition shades on my eyelid or something like that and using those as a blush and a highlighter so I think it would work perfect for that if it's because I definitely know it's not deep enough for me to contour it if I'm using a cream that's darker than that shade the next item I picked up is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Lip set again. I can't rave enough about how I love soft, moisturized lips. So I've never tried the Mario Badescu's lip balms, so that's why I picked this up. And it has three different flavors in it. And I got this from TJ Maxx for $11.99. So I can't wait to use that. Y'all just don't know how long I've been wanting to pull this stuff out and use it. But I was like, I gotta share it. I gotta share it. I gotta share it. So now I'm sharing it. So once I get to sharing it. I can pull it out and use it. So the next two items I purchased are the oh, I, find it. I hope it's not going to break while I'm pulling out like this. The Ashley Strong Morphe eyeshadow palette along with the Ashley Strong Cake Liner palette. Now these two items were in my local Marshalls because I've been eyeing them on the Morphe website but never just purchased it. But this is the Cake eyeshadow palette. This is another one of those products I've never used, never tried to use it, but I do need to watch videos and see how it's being used and learn how to use them. So I did pick this one up. This one was, I think about $4.99, $5.99 or something like that. But this is the cake palette. And then I have the eyeshadow palette. Now these deep colors in here. I saw the palette in Ulta, did not want to pay the full price for it, um, but I love, love, loved the colors in this eyeshadow palette. They were really deep, pretty, and when you swatch them, they are like really, really pretty in store. So I have been watching it, watching it, and watching it until I finally found it in Marshalls. I think I paid about $7.99 for this palette. Um, the next Morphe item I purchased is this Glamour Bronze. And I've been actually looking for this bronzer in this shade for the longest in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And it's in Trailblazer. Um, and this is what it looks like. And it is a huge, 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 huge bronzing shade. 
So, I'm, this probably be my next go-to, baby. So, if y'all see me film and I'm talking about this thing daily, y'all know I like it. So, that's the bronzer. And I picked up the Optimistic AF eyeshadow palette from BH. And it's this um, more fallish looking color. Orange tone, brown tone in this uh, eyeshadow palette. So those shimmers at the bottom are like really pretty. Those two shimmers on that last row. I like that. This is a nice like, nice fall eyeshadow palette. But BH can be a hit or miss. Um, but again, I think a lot of times it depends on your base and, your, and how you set it. Or if you should set it at all. I don't know. But I'm going to be using this palette soon. Uh, the next items I have from BH I bought out of... Oh, don't break up nothing, girl. Don't break up nothing. Are these three little um, quad palettes? Uh, I had been eyeing them again on the website. Did not want to pay for for um, price for them, so I paid five dollars each. And this blue one is like super duper cute. And this one is in blue fur. That one is really really pretty. I've done a whole lot of blues. I did a blue uh, in one of my vi recent videos, but I don't wear a whole lot of blue. But I do like the blue, and I do want to play in. Uh, different colors a little bit more and blue would definitely be one of those and uh, this one is in pink sunglasses that gold is really pretty on that second row that's really pretty and these are um, the um, this is the Iggy collection by the way and this one is in purple platforms and, open. and I do like the package these hard plastic packages now this one is really cute that's really pretty I like that those purples are cute that middle shade on the top row is really pretty like an iridescent purple um, also I picked up the uh, Bonnie Greggs Morphe uh, bronzer and it has like a little shimmer to it but I don't believe that shimmer or transfer um, onto when you are bronzing and this is another a large bronzer as well like the glamour bronze um from profusion i picked up the bronzer in it's just a six shade bronzer palette i've been liking a lot of bronzers and stuff here lately and this is what it's let me open it because that reflection you cannot see it and i thought i had opened it but i did not Okay, man, oh man, this film. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the film over it. Now, this is kind of on the lighter side, but I can see myself bronzing with those last two shades and setting my face with the rest of the shades because I've been loving lately. I did it in this video when I filmed this look. Um, I used a lighter shade in my bronzing palette and set my loose powder and I love how it looks and it turned out so I'm definitely can look forward to using all of these shades in here because sometimes we buy palettes and we never get to use um, some of the shades in these bronzing palettes it may be too light it may not be the right tone undertone for you so I try to have been lately been trying to find other ways to use the rest of the products in the palette um, the next items are the um, BH chocolate cherry and chocolate orange truffle palettes and this is the orange and this one is the chocolate cherry can't wait to use these blush palettes I like blushes and you can also use blush palettes as eyeshadow palettes as well don't let a product intimidate you where you're only confined to what it says is used for you can get multi uses out of it now clarity cosmetics I purchased two eyeshadow palettes from them and this is the evil mermaid eyeshadow palette I love these colors in here I've never used this palette I didn't use any of them for that matter but I can't wait to use a lot of these products in my haul that I purchased this one is the carnival palette this is a huge 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 eyeshadow palette look at these these um pans in here pretty 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 colors I can't wait to use I, I believe if it's still in stock this one might be $10 it was $10 a couple of weeks ago when I 
um, went to her site. If you can catch this thing for ten dollars, I suggest I may even go back and buy a backup and just part and gift it to somebody for Christmas. But that is a beautiful, beautiful palette. The next one I have is the Juvia's Place. Um, and I actually picked this up from Ulta. A uh, Garden of Juvia's nice pastel palette. I hate that I went through the experience with Juvia's Place. Cause it really just hurt my feelings that they didn't work with me with the customer service because they have some great great products i love their concealers and i've been on the fence about should i buy something should i not with what i experienced but i love their concealers and they're always on sale a lot of times and i can't find that sale like in ulta and their customer service discouraged me from even trying to buy from their website but i don't know we'll see but this is a nice pastel palette um the next items i picked up is the I oh, this off the Profusions website and this is the um, Jurassic Jurassic World eyeshadow palette. Let me take this film off. Sorry guys, the Jurassic World eyeshadow palette. These are some nice colors in here. You have the glitters over here. You press. Okay, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my battery dying. Wasn't paying attention. Um, again, this is the pressed pigment side and just a mirror and the eyeshadow palette. Um, I think I did pull it off before my camera died to show you guys the eyeshadow palette itself. Now, when I purchased this offline, that's uh, the brush set I showed you earlier came with it as a free gift. So moving along, the um, <clears throat> next two eyeshadow palettes I bought are from the Nika K brand from TJ Maxx. This one is in Jungle Haze. It's more of a green tone, brownish eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. Once again, not opening this stuff. Let's see. Okay. And is it going to open? Hmm. Sorry, but this is the color scheme of the Jungle Days eyeshadow palette. I think I'm going to leave these out because if I don't leave stuff out, I know I'm going to go back hardly and use it um, because it's not like right in my face. I have to go back and actually dig for it. I need to do better at uh, shopping my own stash and using stuff that I'm just buying, buying, and buying. And the other one is in Ruby Drop. And this one of a rosy pink eyeshadow palette. Now, I love the blush that I use. I have it on today. Um, so, I know if the, blushes are, the blushes are really, really pigmented. So, I'm sure the shadow should be um, a good pigmentation and a good formula. But, I don't know yet. I haven't used them. But, I can't wait to try it. Um, so, for Rude Cosmetics. Let me do this. My last Juvia's Place. And, I purchased this one from Ulta as well. And, this is the Culture Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one I ordered and ran into confusion with with Juvia's Place. But I finally purchased it from Ulta. Pretty, pretty, pretty colors in person. Like I said, camera does not give the shades um, the look that it actually has in person. It's really, really pretty. You have a lot of mattes, a lot of shimmers. I love these colors in this eyeshadow palette. I love that green row. It's really pretty. That bottom is more like a gold greenish. That was like a bluish, goldish, greenish shade mixed. So they're really, really pretty, like duochrome type shades. So I can't wait to use this because Juvia's Place is another one of those brands that have like excellent, excellent pigmentation and formulas. I just hate their customer service sucks. Their customer service sucks. Um, and I think they should start offering insurance on packages. Maybe a, a lot of that would, that confusion would be eliminated. Um, like I said, I'm kind of like freaked out and kind of scared to order from them because of the customer service that I experienced with them. Because they have some great, great products. Now, moving along, my last four eyeshadow palettes are all from the brand Rude Cosmetics. So, I picked all of these up from TJ Maxx as well. And this one is the United Shades of Glitter eyeshadow palette. It's just a bit of pressed uh, glitter palette. And I, I like these uh, glitters in here. They are so pretty. I swatched a few in the store. Really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Now, I have never used them or applied them to my eyes. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. Because I like glitters and shimmers. 
Um, these are like really pretty in person. Really pretty. I don't want to buy their glitters. Let's just swatch one. Let's do one. One, one, Michelle. One, Michelle. Let's do... I don't know. They're all so pretty. Let's do the yellow. The second. Yellow on the second row. Oh. Yellow greenish. Pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. So I know it'll be pretty on the eye. And this palette was $12.99. So I'm going to definitely probably leave this out because these are some beautiful, beautiful glitter shades. That third one's like a teal green. Pretty. You know what? Let's do one more. Let's do that one. And I'm not even really pressing down on the palette. Look at that green. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. So, and it's soft and creamy. Really pretty. It's really pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm going to leave this baby out because as much as I love shimmers and stuff, I want to see how this works with the glitter, gl glitter glue. Look at those two. Pretty. I'm leaving this out too on my vanity because if I don't, I'll store it and go up and get it later, 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 later. The next one is the Peachy United Peachy Nudes eyeshadow palette. Now this one I really, really liked when I was in the store. And this one was $9.99. I really like the peachy tones in this eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. Uh, again, you have the peachy, pinkish looking tones and then you have one, two press glitters. This is nice. This is a nice color scheme if you like pink, rosy shades, and peachy shades. This is it. You have the transition shades up there. Then you have all these different mattes. You can do different looks with this eyeshadow palette if you're into like, like I said, pink, mauvey, pinkish types, and peachy types, tones. This is like really pretty. And this one I paid, I think, $10 for it as well. Yeah, $10 for this one. Now my last two... Um, <clears throat> my last two eyeshadow palettes are also uh, Rude eyeshadow palettes. And both of them are the 35 Flower Love 35. One is in, um, are these the same thing? No way. And they both are the same. Did I really do that to myself? This is why I need to stop shopping because I picked up the same palette twice, two different occasions. Um, I'm going to probably gift the other one to probably somebody. My daughter didn't lose a whole lot of colors, but I'm going to probably gift it to somebody. But this is the 35 Gardner eyeshadow palette. Another beautiful uh, palette I found to be beautiful uh, color scheme. I turned upside down because this flap is all in my face. Um... But this is really, really pretty. You have a few pressed glitters, shimmers, mattes, peach, mauvies, green, brown. You have a pop of like grayish, um, muted grayish color. So this is a nice, nice palette too. If you just want a variety of different colors to play with. To begin with, this is really, really nice. They're not too, too bold. They're really like on the nicer side. Uh, if you don't want these really, really deep colors other than those four or five. But I really do enjoy a lot of color in my eyeshadow palette collection. But Lord knows I didn't know I bought two of those. That's just sure I need to stop buying. I need to pay attention to what I already have. Now these were um, $12.99. But I'm definitely going to be gifting the other one to somebody. Because I know I didn't buy them together. Um, but that completes this large haul of items that I've purchased um, over the last couple of months. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But again, I love makeup. Um, I love sitting down playing in it, whether I'm filming or not. I'm just always in here. This is my quiet space, my me time. My I just release everything in here. It kind of calms me. I don't know why, but it does. I just love it in this space. So, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these items I showed you <clears throat> in this video. Uh, during my hauls of collecting all these different brands and different items. Um, if you have any items, let me know your thoughts on them. Do you plan on purchasing them? 
which items you want to see me use. Um, and I'll definitely make it happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed filming all these different hauls of items I purchased in the last, I would say, five, four, five, six months or so. I hope you all really, 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 really enjoyed this and appreciate the little effort I'm trying to get these videos out because it's really, really hard when you have two little small grand babies um, that you are trying to love and spend so much time with. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you have not done so already, please comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And I really appreciate that as well. Um, become part of my YouTube family here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.